All right, so this is going to be Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and as well rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 13th to January 19th, 20. Oops, once again, guys. Oh my god, drop a card. Okay, so let's try this one again. Uh, love and relationship tarot reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and rising uh, January 13th to January 19th, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can take a look into the description down below of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can schedule and purchase such. And with that being said, uh, we are going to move into the reading just in a second here. Let me just cut it first. All right. So uh, first card, which stands as a topic and theme of your love and relationship week Sagittarius we do have seven of pentacles followed by the next one which represents the energies that are supporting the situation uh, we do have the eight of wands afterwards uh, is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome for throughout the week we do have the devil followed by the next one which stands as the gifts and the blessings that you are going to be blessed with um, throughout the week and you have to enjoy here uh, that will be the queen of wands then the fifth one stands as how people are going to see you what kind of an impression you're going to leave into them uh, and uh, that will be the ten of cups sixth one it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go and oh my god that's a big one we do have the ace of pentacles here afterwards it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal that will be the four of cups and the last one it is um, the five of swords which stands as the guidance the tower is offering all right so um sagittarius well this is how it goes here with the seven of pentacles and eight of wands in the in these um representative positions uh, it looks like that the energies are going to be very dynamic with the Eight of Wands. Uh, many openings uh, for you guys to express your love or to catch love around, to, to flirt, you know, and to basically attract people as well. Now, the thing, however, with the Seven of Pentacles that is that the card may play in a couple of ways. Either that you are going to be unsure that you want something to happen in between you and someone or a certain enterprise to take place into your current relationship or a marriage, or especially for those which are single, is to wait for quote-unquote the right one to come around and that person never comes around this week and therefore you miss every single opportunity to make yourself happy. Okay, so that's the thing here with those uh, two cards. Now, important thing to know, it is that well, I don't like to say it, but with those two cards, not it doesn't have to be something major that you are to accomplish for throughout the week uh, in terms of love and relationship. Take it more like a bit by bit and trial and error that you are going to build up further into your love and relationship life. Um, it's all about trying. It's all about seeing and uh, how can I say it? Uh, figuring out what works for you, what works for your person of interest, what works for your wife or for your husband, what works for your um, a social circle and environment, if you will. And from there, you know, making up, uh, let's say, a classification or a list or whatever in your mind, that is, not in a sheet of paper. And um, adopting the 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 right standpoint so you can grow relationship and a love uh, wise so it's a quite of a uh, busy week into that uh, into that front and into that direction it looks like that you do have much to observe much to do and much to analyze if you will so you can see what works and what doesn't how you can um well, that's an expression in my country that we that is not going to make any sense whatsoever to you. So I'm going to try it that way. How you can melt the the soul, for example, of your person of interest. How you can um, make your partner to adopt a more milder standpoint toward your ideas and so on and so forth. These things are what you're going to figure out and find out 
throughout this week. But with the Seven of Pentacles here as a um, situation and a topic next to the Eight of Wands, you need to know that there is no such thing as the perfect moment and perfect circumstances. You have to, at some sometimes, you got to, to take what you can get. And that's the case here with those cards. So the next one, it is the challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, that is going to be the Devil card. And needless to say, it is because you're going to have so many options available. That is a, a product of your influence. And the Devil card, it is a, about, a, a, in a challenging way, it is a, about abusal of your influence. Once again, to melt the soul of your person of interest, of your beloved one, or of your partner. You don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to be demanding. You don't have to be cruel to get what you want. You can do it in another much more gentle and much more efficient way, okay? By, sh for example, showing that you care, that, for example, showing that, <clears throat> you know, you can align with their ideas. Well, it, it is like this, to make them want what you want, and you can definitely do it for throughout this week, to make your person of, of interest to want a relationship with you, to make your husband to want to, for example, spend a couple of nights in a romantic dinner with you instead of, you know, pubbing with friends, okay? So the devil card, it is like, no, it's like winning the hand without using the trumps and conserving the trumps for much more their, uh, dire need moving forward into the future. So just one second to uh, regain control over my camera, guys. All right, so next one, it is uh, gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy for throughout the week here. Sagittarius, that is going to be the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands. And we talked about influence. That is the card of the influence, especially relationship-wise. The Queen of Swords, it's uh, the Queen of Wands, excuse me. It's a, a person that everybody admires. So that is the gift and the blessing for you. Everybody is going to admire you. Everybody is going to be, will want to be around you in generally. The gift and the blessing of the attraction and mutual attraction. Well, it, it may not be mutual, but it's definitely going to be from the other side. That is very potent card for those which are single. Gift and a blessing of attracting many, many people that are finding you interesting, that are finding you as a good match for them. Are you going to find them being a good match for you? Well, once again, that depends on you. But once again, throughout this week, there is no such thing as a, a perfection, all right? So if you do want to make up a relationship that week, for example, you're single, you have to settle for something, which comes up later into the, into the reading, that it is the final card, the guidance. But for now, we are going to stop there. You have to settle up for something. Now, the next one, it is how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people or you're going, people are going to get from your behavior and from your presence. Uh, that will be the impression um, and the look of the Ten of Cups, is that you are satisfied and fulfilled of how you are standing and that you are a gift to everybody who has you around. It's, it goes like this that they need you, but you do not need them, all right? So it's like a privilege for someone to be in your company. It is like a blessing for them that you are paying attention to them, that you are uh, kind of like uh, answering to their questions, to their call, to, to the conversation in generally. Uh, people are going to see you as well very vitalized. What I mean it is that more active than, uh, than before, and that is for a reason, it is that you do have so many ways to cash in on your presence and on, on your influence in general, but just once again, I have to stress this one enough, don't be uh, tyrannical, uh, don't be, how can I say it, um, despotic, despotic maybe. Um, one more thing with the Ten of Cups, it is that, um, People also are, are going to see that you are uh, not unreasonable in a sense of that you don't need 
billions of dollars into someone's bank account and mentions that they have on their name to be with them. For you, at least this is the impression that they are going to get, is that for you, it is just enough that they love you, at least at the start, and afterwards you can work out the rest moving forward into the future. So, what is going to be that thing that is going to help your long-term love and relationship go? We do have the Ace of Pentacles. A couple of things with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, the most major thing is that the Ace of Pentacles says that you, throughout this week, you're going to have a rare opportunity to further your goal in general. So uh, that card, to me at least, in that position, it does speak as, especially if you're single, as a proposition. Well, it is a proposition one way or the other for a way to quench your relationship, for a way to transcend your interaction, or, you know, to start at an interaction. Now, remember, that may not be a verbal inv invitation. It could be through a gesture. It could be through a, uh, uh, how can I say it? Um, yeah, through a jest. It could be through as well some sort of a... Uh, disguised action or something like this and you have to be vigilant about it and the other thing that is going to help your long-term love and relationship go is actually maintaining harmonious flow in all of your relationships it is because you don't know especially if you're single which relationship can transcend further like I said at the start too many options available and only striving for perfection, it is what can deprive you of having a romantic interest moving forward into the future. Now, the next one, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be uh, the Four of Cups, and that is pretty trivial into that position. The Four of Cups, to me at least, into this narrative points, comparing what can be with what could have been, right? Say you had a, a very beautiful relationship, but something didn't work out, you had to break it, and now you are comparing everything with it. You need to know here with the Four of Cups, it is that every person is unique and therefore can present a, a unique experience. So you can't have the same thing as you had before, but hey, you can have better. Well, I guess you can have worse, but you can definitely have better. And... Uh, that's why it will be important, especially with the Ace of Pentacles in the previous position, to take the thing slowly. And that is also suggested with the Seven of Pentacles as well. And one thing you can do here, um, Sagittarius, is once the interaction starts, or once the performance upon a uh, enterprise into an existing marriage or relationship starts, uh, you have to see how much you are giving into it, or you are putting into it, and how much your partner is putting into it. If it is not equal, then you definitely need to stop there and move to the next thing. It is because, like we said, once again, there are going to be many things for you to explore. Finally, we are going to the Five of Swords, and that is about personal limits. It is about how far you can go. It is about objectivity here in this particular narrative. We said uh, here into the... Um, previous cards, it is that you have to settle for something, and this is where the Five of Swords sits. It is because the card says that ultimately you can settle for everything, but you may not be able to handle it. Or with the card, you may not be aware of what you are settling for, okay? So you can settle for that very handsome woman, and it turns out this woman, it's it's just, how do you say it, kleptomanic? No, kleptomanic is the one who steals, nymphomanic, all right? Uh, so you have to make your homework, what you are settling for and how you are settling for in case, once again, you decide to settle. Same thing, you want your, let's say, wife to do something for you, okay? To settle for a, uh, uh, a holiday into the Canaries, into the Canary Islands, all right? Well, you have to kind of try to research what is she going to ask in return? Because everything goes both ways. Everything in this life comes with a price. And the bill may not come today, it may not come tomorrow, but it's going to come eventually. And the bill has to be paid. 
So that is what you need to be mindful for. And that's why you have to settle only for what you can handle. So uh, that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading for January 13th to January 19th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can definitely purchase one at my website, which link you can find down in the description down below. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.